Time now for an in-depth look at the market news, and for that, I'm joined on the line by Mr. Daniel Yu, Global Strategist at Uanta Securities. Mr. Yu, thank you for making time today. Good afternoon. Well, stocks in New York have risen to yet another all-time high, all three main indices. Today, the Kospi started out much higher, but that tapered off later in the session, and we were down. What's the story in the global markets and here in Korea? Yes, if you look at the U.S. market, it continues to show rising trend, particularly for the uh, small and mid-cap stocks, the Russell 2000 uh, uh, has risen almost close to 2%. Uh, this is clearly due to the expectation of strict economic recovery uh, fueled by the rollout of vaccines and additional government spending. Uh, also, the Treasury Secretary Je uh, Janet Yellen commented that uh, if Congress act fast, U.S. could return to the full employment by sometime in 2022. Uh, so because of that, the energy stocks, the industrials, the financials, all uh, which are tied to the reviving of economic uh, recovery, uh, led the gains in Dow Jones and S&P 500. Uh, in terms of the Nasdaq, however, though, it kind of slightly underperformed its peers uh, because people are expecting the economic recovery would benefit uh, some of the underperformed former uh, in the past. In terms of Korea market, though, uh, when it started, it was quite strong, but has declined and closed down by around 0.2% to 0.3% for cost and cost act. Uh, I think it's because of the option closing of tomorrow before the uh, lunar uh, New Year holiday, uh, and the foreign investors net sold about 230 billion one worth of Korean equities, and that is uh, pushing the market to be lower. However, after the uh, holidays, we think the ample liquidity and the current expectation of the IT sector recovery, uh, Korea market should do quite well in the future. Well, aside from stocks, uh, the price of crude oil is back up to almost $60 a barrel for the first time in a little over a year, where it was before the pandemic. Why is that, and where do you see oil going from here? Right. As you know, that um, U.S. dollar being a little bit strong has affected the uh, oil price to remain subdued. But as the U.S. dollar remains now at quite stable, uh, ample liquidity is fueling into some of these uh, commodity, particularly the oil side. Oil has reached uh, above $60 per barrel. Uh, and uh, this has resulted in because of the current recovery that you are expecting for U.S. as well as global economy. And on top of that, um, there was news about the Saudi Arabia uh, who are trying to do a voluntary production cuts of one million barrel per day in February and March. Uh, clearly, supply and demand both sides is pushing up the oil price. Uh, however, though, uh, if you look at the overall fourth industrial revolution, uh, we think that the renewable energy is much more focused uh, and electric car is more important in the future. So therefore, the overall demand for the oil might not be as strong as people expect. So therefore, in terms of the picking out of the price, uh, we don't think that it's going to go up to the previous highs of about 75 to $80. But rather, I think we're probably entering probably on top of the range in terms of the range-bound oil price. And a lot of other global commodities have been up recently, too, including grains. And that will no doubt have an effect on prices here. Some say we're in the start of a new commodities super cycle. So tell us more about that and how this might raise concerns about inflation. Yes, um, some of the investors are saying that uh, there might be a super cycle for commodities coming, and uh, quite a lot of monies are flowing into commodities, uh, and some of the uh, investment banks are target pricing these uh, commodities to be much higher than the previous. Uh, however, though, we think that this kind of uh, rise is not going to be sustained that long. Uh, we need to look at uh, where the demand is. Uh, we think that economic uh, recovery is coming, but not to these um, investment heavy or construction or uh, shipbuildings or these kind of the uh, commodity related sector, but rather the continuation of fourth industrial revolutions uh, would affect uh, more positively in terms of the data centers and DRAM prices and all these IT related sectors. So super cycle is coming in that area rather 
uh, than these commodity-related sectors. So therefore, we don't think that the commodity price is going to hit uh, those record levels that we've seen in 2007, 2008, or even 2011. Uh, but rather, we probably see where the commodity prices were in uh, the dot-com bubble era when uh, it was remained to be quite low. Uh, right now, the prices have risen, but it's not to the level of a previous bottom of the uh, bubble burst of the super cycle of the commodities. Uh, we think that the demand is definitely improving because of the economic pictures. But nevertheless, we think that the economic uh, paradigm shift is actually happening, and therefore uh, we don't bet on this commodity price to be continued in the future. Got it. All right, Mr. Yu, we'll have to leave it there for today. Thanks so much, as always, for sharing your insights with us. Thank you very much.